next test up we have the SIG uh, V Crown 124 grain 9 millimeter standard pressure test. Again, this is the 124 grain. We've already tested the 115. Um, this is in the bulk 50 round boxes instead of those 20 round boxes. The only difference I've seen with these rounds is that instead of the uh, nickel plated brass, it's just uh, a straight brass case. Looks like all other uh, performance uh, is the same on that. Um, the box says uh, this is uh, 1165 feet per second, 374 uh, foot pounds uh, of energy on there. Um, and again, I don't know the, there's no barrel length on that, but it's probably a, a five inch factory barrel or something like that. Again, we're going to be using the 3.1 inch Ruger LC9S and the 3.7 inch SIG P365XL. Uh, these are again more common carry sizes today, uh, and a little different than maybe some of the information that's uh, out there available on the web. So stay tuned, we'll be to the range soon, and we'll uh, check these out. Sig 124 grain, 9 millimeter, through 3.1 inch barrel. Blue part the first, blue part the second. Mm, hole, big hole in the front of the third, through the third. And it's in the bottom of the fourth. So we will check that out. Here's the Sig 124 from the 3.1 inch. Dumping it out. There we go. There's the expansion. We'll measure that back at home. SIG 124, 3.7 inch barrel. Alright, blue part the first real good. Blue part the second. Through the third, into the fourth. Down there. In the bottom of the fourth, if you can see that. And there it is. 124 grain SIG V Crown. Okay, next up, SIG V Crown, 124 grain 9mm through the 3.1 inch Ruger LC9S. Into the ballistic gel through the heavy clothing barrier. Okay, we took two shots with that 124 grain. First one entered kind of low, went low, actually went real low, went through the milk carton I had as a backstop, then hit my fabric backstop and bounced off the table down here. So we did get a little bit of expansion on that one, but not a lot. So I went ahead and I took a second shot much better placement on the second shot. That one hit right up here at the top. You can see in here it's swirling in, swirling in, causing damage, swirling in. Streamlined. Still went all the way through. Had enough energy to get through this, about 19 inches of gel. Bounced off the milk jug here as it was still leaking out water from the first shot. And it landed right here on the table. So this was the second one. Again, that's over 19 inches of gel penetration. And that landed right there. So these uh, V-Crowns, um, these are through heavy clothing barrier. Um, I mean, they're getting deep penetration, but not the best uh, expansion we've seen. So again, this was the first shot. This one here was the second shot. This one went low. This one here went through all the gel. So... 
Um, we'll measure them in post. Here we go. Okay, back from the range. Uh, we will uh, check these out. Here are the results. Um, as you can see for the 124 SIG V-Crown 9mm, we have uh, these two here on the left are the, uh, the gel shots with 3.1 inch barrel. Uh, you did see uh, at least uh, the results of at least one of those um, in the video. I also took a shot with through the 3.7 inch barrel. Uh, it was not on the video, but this is the result of, of that through the gel. Um, and then these are the ones at the top here. Uh, the one on the left is again through the water jugs, and uh, the one on the right is also through water jugs. Uh, all of my shots are through heavy clothing barrier, so they all have uh, one layer of denim, one layer of fleece, two layers of cotton t-shirt material. So we'll go ahead and weigh these up to see what they weigh. Um, again, this is the uh, 115 through gel, or excuse me, 124 through gel. No weight loss on that. And no weight loss on that one. Here's the uh, 124 through the through 3.7 inch barrel in gel. No weight loss on that one. Uh, this is into the water jugs. Uh, no weight loss. And uh, also the water jugs. No weight loss. So um, these uh, V crowns uh, show no weight loss. Um, very very deep penetration. Um, compared to the other rounds that we've been testing, um, we had from the, uh, 3.1 inch, uh, barrel and the 3.7 inch barrel into milk jugs. That's these ones up here. Um, both of them made them into the fourth jug, which is pretty deep for nine millimeter. Um, the 3.1 inch into gel. One of them was shot low. I couldn't get a measurement because it went low and kind of missed the the second the some a part of the second block. Um, so, but it was at least nineteen inches of penetration. The second one went through a full nineteen inches worth of 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 the gel, and then bounced off the uh, uh, water jug backing behind that. So that was over nineteen inches of penetration as well. Um, the 3.7 inch um, fell within what what is uh, you know the wanted range of that 12 to 18 inches. It's made it to 17 and a half inches. So um, again, if you're carrying um, something a, a longer barrel, um, you know like a Glock 19 with a four inch barrel, uh, this might be a, a good um, good deep penetrating option for you for concealed carry. Um, Again, the expansion here, as you can see, is better um, through the 3.7 inch than the, than the shorter barrel. And that's still a very deep uh, penetration. So for guys that like that uh, over the expansion, uh, this might be a, a considered uh, choice for it here. Wait a, wait a second here, and we'll uh, measure up the uh, expansion, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, again, here's the... Uh, 3.1 inch, we'll start with 3.1 inch through gel. See what kind of expansion we got on these. There's still a little denim sticking off of this one here, um, but that's all right. So we got, again, these are not the biggest expanders here. So 0.49 inches, 0.4 inches. And this way here is right at also point. Four eight inches, so um, not as big as some we've seen, but again, these are very deep penetrators for for what you get. Um, on the other one through gel, 0.47. Looks like this is the wide. Uh, yeah, this is the wide side here. This is also about 0.47. And point four eight, so uh, not a huge expansion. That was through the gel. Uh, here is the three point seven inch barrel through the gel. This one did the best out of all of them as far as expansion goes. Uh, this is probably the high point point six four. 
this side we got 0.59 and over here we got 0.53 uh, 3.1 inch into the water jugs. Looks like we got a high of about 0.62 with that little tang sticking out there on the side. Uh, 0.53 and about 0.51 on that side. And then the 3.7 inch into the water. We got 0 0.54, 0 0.51, and 0 0.53 right there. So again, um, decent expansion, deep penetration. Uh, Price-wise, these ones, when I bought them, were right around... 50 to 53 cents a round uh, shipped to my door. Uh, are there other options out there in this price range that are as good or better? Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for. Um, expansion, I, I like to see a bigger expansion uh, and maybe a little bit less penetration. With with, with some of these, you're, you're almost bordering on over penetration. So in a self-defense scenario, you might have to worry about um bystanders or, or or things like that so um that's what we got um i think we're nearing the end of this uh cheap and and uh, not as cheap uh ammo testing that i had planned and we'll do kind of a, a summary here once we get to the end so stay tuned for that uh but that's what you get here with the sig 124 green v crown standard pressure nine millimeters uh stay tuned for the next one